25,000 Allied troops and 260,000 German soldiers were killed in three months of fighting at Passchendaele. To honour those who fell and to mark its 100th anniversary this year, two special events will be held in the Belgian town of Ypres in July, where much of the fighting took place. Robert Hall has been there to see how they're preparing for the commemorations. My wound was slight and I was hobbling back, and then a shell burst slick upon the duckboards. So I fell into the bottomless mud and lost the light. There was not a sign of life of any sort, not a bird, not even a rat or a blade of grass. The words of those who tried to sum up the hell of Passchendaele. Three months when more than half a million men died. Three months when the Allied army fought an enemy. The mud and the cold to gain a few miles of ground. A century ago, Ypres was under siege. The roads leading north climbed steadily to the German lines which overlooked the Allies on three sides. After the war, the British made this sanitised documentary about the battle. Tales of personal heroism to distract from the ghastly reality. The reality of uphill advances, a sucking quagmire and the horrors of machine guns and gas. This year's commemorations will be focused in Ypres, a city rebuilt from total destruction. There'll be a series of events built around remembrance and the need to help visitors understand what happened here. Steve Armand oversees cemeteries across Belgium. He says Passchendaele holds a particular resonance. As you walk in or working through the cemeteries, you, you actually see the headstones and see the dates, particular dates on the headstones. And there's so many of them at times in, 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 in one single day. Uh, or, 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 or a month, and it's, it's just sometimes just unbelievable that, that things like that happen. On a freezing night under the Menin Gate, the bugles sound for the fallen once again. Passchendaele is burnt into Ypres' turbulent history. Passchendaele is the loss of a lot of lives for us, um, a lot of people that we commemorate day after day and uh, we want to continue the message that the last post hasn't forgotten. This summer's commemorations will be a partnership with a city whose people have never forgotten. Robert Hall, BBC News.